Hey guys, John here. Today's Pigments patch is going to be an 8-bit lead, so the kind of video game sound that we all know and love, and sounds something like this. Kind of my attempt at Final Fantasy, I don't really know exactly how it goes, but uh, yeah. So with this kind of sound back in the old stuff, I always remember listening and there might be like one or two or three notes that really overlap that are played at the same time. So if you look down here on poly number three, that's why that is set up that way. So it's not really meant to have like really long sustained chords. So let's get into it here. So let's turn off the effects here. The uh, utility engine, we're really just using a sub, so I said sub saw, but we're using a sub square. So let's turn that off over here. Engine two, we're not using. So engine one is where the magic happens. So first things first, this quick kind of sound, you press it and it's gone. This is the envelope that's kind of really going to be important for this. So the attack 1 milliseconds, decay 406 milliseconds, sustain 0, and the release 20 milliseconds, attack curve 0, decay curve negative 4.16. So with this sound here, this kind of video game sound... Now that's mainly going to be driven by a square wave, although I did sneak in a couple saw waves here, but that really main sound is always going to be squares. So the coarse tuning is brought up one octave here. The first oscillator is going to be a downward saw output all the way up. The second oscillator is going to be up seven semitones or that perfect fifth going to be a saw upwards. And the fine tuning is just 0 0.001, just a small little change there. And then we have the volume at 0.00 dB as well. Something that I do want to point out here though. So this is going to be up seven, right? We can always go down to five. And it's going to have a little bit of that dissonant sound. But it kind of adds a little bit to that charm there. So you can always kind of go back between 7 up or 5 up. 7 seven's going to be a little bit more musical. But 5 also gives you that extra timbre. So it really depends on how you want to go about it. I thought I would mention that there because it's kind of important for this patch. So we have oscillator number three, and this is going to be a square wave. No change for the coarse tuning or the fine tuning. And the volume is going to be at negative 5.45. This one's getting sent to filter number one, which is just going to be the multi-mode. And we're really not doing too much to it because we don't really need to filter this. Now we did skip over engine number two because we're not using that, but we are using the utility engine, which gives us a sub square. So now we have kind of the basic recipe of this sound here. This sub saw is going to, or sub square is going to be negative 12 semitones or down one octave, getting sent direct out. So bypassing the effects, just going straight out as a square. Now for the effects where it kind of is fun. So there's really not too much here, but it's kind of thought out in a certain way here. So the first thing that it gets hit with is going to be a bit crusher. And here on the bit depth, it's going to be oh, it's going to be selected at 8 bits. This is going to be a dry wet of 100%. Scale is going to be 0. Down sample is going to be 1. Jitter is going to be 0. High pass, 20, uh, 20 hertz. Low pass is going to be 20k. However, we do have this crush it macro over here, and that's going to be tied to this bit depth over here, right? So as we turn this crush it knob, it almost kind of sounds like a really overdriven guitar. Or kind of reminds me of FL Slayer, if anybody out there remembers what that was. I thought it was great at the time. Moving on from there, we have a delay, so this time is going to be 1 over 8. Kind of a really quick delay just to kind of keep it in there. Although, I don't really remember many delays in there, but you know what? I love delays, so I wanted to put it in here, so you have a delay. The fine's going to be 0 0.400 milliseconds, feedback 0 0.352, stereo spread 0 0.125, high pass 20 hertz, and the low pass 2430 hertz. The dry wet's going to be zero manually, but the macro is going to be 0.13. And if you're like, you know what, John, I really don't like this delay. I have put a macro here just for you, so you can turn this down if you don't want it. Or if you're like, I really like the delay, I want more, then turn it all the way to the right. And you have more delays. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. Next up, we have a reverb for our final processing here. Now, it sounds like this.
Now just a little bit of reverb, just to kind of make it in a little bit of a room, right? Or if you're playing Pokemon, there might be in a cave or something like that. And you don't have an escape rope. So anyway, the pre-delay is going to be 20 milliseconds, size 0.755, decay is going to be... Okay, this one's going to be interesting because this is going to be zero manually, but it's also on a macro here. So this R decay, the reverb decay, give you a little bit more extra control of the reverb here. If you don't want the reverb at all, you can always turn this fourth macro down all the way and it will turn the dry wet off over there. So moving on from there, we have the stereo width at 0 0.500, high pass 200, low pass 1695, and then the damping is going to be 0 0.440. So in addition to the main macro of the reverb, you also have this de decay, right? You can go quite, quite high up here, so it'll take a little bit longer for that tail to decay. Or if you want a short decay. So now with all these effects engaged here, especially with this crush knob, this one actually turned out pretty cool. And if you're thinking, you're like, I maybe kind of like this sound, it almost sounds like a guitar, the 8-bit's cool, but I kind of want this, this crush it sound, and it's not really sustaining, all you really have to do is just bring the sustain knob up here, and then you got basically an electric guitar. Now all the girls are going to fall in love with you because you can play really cool electric guitars. Maybe is that still a thing? I don't know, probably not. Maybe you can write poems with that or something like that. I really don't know. But anyway, that is the 8-bit, also kind of electric guitar sound-ish, a little bit patch. So hopefully you learned something. If you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below. And it can be yours for the clicking on the link and downloading, installing, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.